90% of the people open their SMSs within the first three minutes. And so today we bring you Bold SMS, which helps you send bulk SMS anywhere in the world with no restrictions. You have me right, no restrictions. So you're gonna jump in right into it. You see how it works from A to Z. So I'm gonna leave you all the links in the description and it's called boldsms.com. The first thing that you wanna take note of, it's a platform that uh, is being loved by a lot of people and so scammers have taken advantage of this. So they have given us a disclaimer here that avoid scammers, do not pay anyone outside the platform and all that. So the first thing that you wanna do is, and in case you wanna communicate uh, directly, uh, use the bottom uh, buttons in the right here chat with them telegram and email that aside let's sign up so we're gonna sign up for free and you can also watch the demo live here of how the whole platform works we're gonna sign up for free here click on that you come here to register i'm gonna put uh, put your name here put your email email again boom you are registered so and then you receive an email with uh, all the credentials so I'm gonna refresh this here you go you're gonna receive these credentials these are my credentials it gives you the URL, it gives you your email, it gives you your password. And there are a few things that they have said here. Let us protect you. Anyone who tells you to make payment outside the platform is coming you. Just like they have shown us in the in, in the website. So second thing is you need to download the Android uh, Android app from here. So if you have opened uh, this email from your phone, you can click here and download an app. And then um, there's a video that you can use to watch uh, how the entire process works. So let me come back here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to download this app in my phone. And then I come to my platform here. And then I want to now sign in. Don't want to register. Let me refresh this so that I already have membership now. I have my email. I pick my password here. Then there and then sign in. Boom. I'm into this platform now. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to download an app that is going to help you connect your phone to this platform so this platform sends sms's via android enabled phone android enabled phone so how it works is you first connect to your android phone you come here to devices and then you click on add device so where do you get the, this qr code once you download this app here in your phone in your android phone you will be presented with an option of scanning this qr code so i'm going to pick my phone here and scan this qr code so the first thing is i'm going to go to that email download that app scan this qr code and get connected all right just a minute as i do that scanning my qr code as we speak And boom I should be connected by now so if I close this and refresh perfect my gadgets here has been connected so that is the first step you need to connect your Android phone to the platform the next thing that you want to do is uh, if you come to the dashboard what options do you have in the dashboard you're able to see uh, the messages that are pending the scheduled messages the ones that are in queue, sent, delivered, failed, and all that. So, how do you go about running your campaign? So, you said 
you added the devices the next thing is you want to create a, a template a template is the message that you're sending so if you come to templates click on add template give it a name and then one of the best thing about this platform is it's able to give you an option of randomizing your content how does it work for instance if you can follow this lead here that they have given you you want to have something like uh, this okay then low high then you close so what happens is that the, the platform will be able to automatically when you're sending your sms the platform will automatically be able to pick one of these one person to receive hey another person to receive hello another person to receive um on and on and this is very critical because it helps in deliverability you don't want to be sending the same message over and over again so that is very critical and in case uh, in your list you have names what you do is you put you open that and then you put name there and then the system will be able to pick uh, uh, the name that you have in your list and if you continue the same applies even in the messaging not just in the greetings only uh, for instance if you want to say something like have you in latest data then you can say something different like the just released reports or something of that kind so that's the whole concept about having variation in your message so the next thing is you want to do is always uh, save your message right so the other thing that you want to do is uh, on uh, contacts the first thing you want to do here is you want to create your contacts contact list give it any name then click on create and then once you are here you are able now to upload your contact list from uh, from an excel so you have the option of importing uh, importing the contacts and then you can also send the message also from here and you also you have the option of adding the unsubscribe link so how it works is and you can also add multiple devices it's very important for me to know that that you can be able to add multiple devices to this platform so you come here to add contacts or import contacts and then you click on uh, drop excel here and they have given us uh, an example here let me download this example so that you have a look at how the contact list is supposed to be all right so there we go this is how your list is supposed to be name as you can see it here and mobile number as you can see it here so this is called e164 uh, model of naming if you are in the us uh, you want to give it an approach of to be plus one the country i mean the code and all that and then you put your number there if you're in the uk for instance it will be something like Then you put on the number and all that if you are in india it will be uh plus uh, 91. if you're in france it will be plus 33. if you are in um, uh, south africa it will be plus 27. on and on and on and on your country code once you have it there you wanna ensure that you save it in the right format so let's see the format that we're supposed to save it in you're supposed to save it in XLXS, so Excel workbook, not in CSV, and then you hit save. 
let me use the very same one to save it save that then i go to the platform upload contacts and then um, click on upload there you go all right so if you check here you'll be able to see that i have been able to um, upload that those contacts so having said that the next thing that you want to do is um, that's about uploading the contacts the next thing that you want to do is you come here to uh, what what we have here in terms of messages so this is where you will be able to see the the statistics in terms of uh, the messages you sent and also you can also do your replies from here as well and then you also have the option of using ussd you can also do your ussd from here and also we have this option of using the sender how the sender works is um, instead of using this option of sending an, a message from here you can use this option of sender and the option of sender gives you an example i mean gives you an option of using custom fields this is where you can use multiple custom fields you realize when you're working with this section only uh, contact sending message from here you don't have a lot of variation in terms of the contact fields but when you use this option it gives you the option of having multiple custom fields so and if you can um, look at this for instance let's check this one let's see what we have here as an example all right so this is how the custom field looks like you see that for instance if you want uh, to use different uh, uh, various messages you use it here if for instance you want to add um, something like a company you can add it here that way or any other variation that you want to uh, you want to add here then always don't forget that um, you save you save this as xls all right so back to our platform here you when you click on you can click on drop file here a click I mean drop excel file from here or click to upload so this is where you upload from you just click on that and you're able to upload your um, your file for instance and then um, you can also in case you are running multiple uh, multiple multiple campaigns you can prioritize which one you want uh, to go first and also if you're having multiple devices you can choose which device that you want to uh to use and if a device has more than one sim card then you will be able to add um, a sim card from here so you come here to messages you choose your template the one we created earlier or if you don't want to use a template you can say none and now you will be able to you'll be able to create your message from here so if i were to follow uh this the same lead just like i was telling you uh, let me use this and for instance you have custom fields other than the name and the mobile number what do you do you just put uh, the percentage in percent for instance and then you put uh, the company if in your excel you have the company here you're going to put the company uh, if there's any anything else that you are you have in the probably also have the address
the system will be able to pick the address that you've put in uh, you put in your excel once again if you download this example here you will be able to see what i mean in regards to how it should look like very clear and very straightforward after that you just hit send the other thing that i would wish to bring to our attention is um the element of uh, autoresponder so how does the autoresponder work it is a scenario where in case a person says something in your message uh, the system has a capacity to trigger a certain message that uh, you want to send so uh, if for instance you you've been told here to add a response if for instance a person says uh, yes i am interested then you tell the system what should the reply be all right so and you can have the option of if the message contains uh, contains more than um i mean contains a certain word because people reply differently anyway if the message contains this word you can always use uh, the separator if you read this uh, here you'll be able to see how it um uh, it will generally uh, do that for instance if a person says yes i'm interested or you separate with or they just say sure i'm the other kind if a message contains any of this then what is the next message that uh, you're going to add so that is going to be triggered by the system automatically the other thing is the api the system comes with an api you can be able to get this api and use it in uh, in your environment in a in a separate environment other than this platform so and then um you can go ahead and subscribe they, they are giving you these plans yearly you get uh, two months for free or you can go for monthly and there are no limits to the number of devices you can add there are no limits to the number of sms's you can send and another feature that i highly recommend that you make use of is the element of um, delay message delay so how this one works is you don't want to blast your message so you want it to be in between a certain range of uh, seconds so i usually recommend that put it at si between 60 to 120 what this means is an sms is being sent out after every minute and also there's also a very good feature here i can uh, recommend that you make use of uh, called sleep time for instance you don't want to send sms's at, at night so what do you do you tell the system to sleep and uh maybe you want the the last message to go at uh, maybe 7 p.m for instance so the system at 7 p.m it will pause and it will wake up you want it to wake up at 7 a.m so during this period no sms will be sent 7 a.m sorry no sms will be sent but now it resumes after 7 23 a.m in the morning so that's the concept of uh, uh, sleep. Th this that is the main feature. These are the main feature I would make. I would encourage you to use this, and also this sleep, and also ensure that you have variations in your message. And um, in case of anything, you can always reach out. Reach out. Uh, the number is in the website as you have seen. And uh, one last thing is about if you come to the website here. And you go to the features you'll be able to see what the features are here in case i've missed anything you'll be able to see all the features you can reach out through these contacts super swift in response that one is guaranteed and uh, in case you face any error 
in case you face any error you'll be able to see they have a list of errors that um, in case a message is failed you'll be able to tell you why a message has failed and then you'll be able to take the necessary action again you can send this using uh, an eSIM not a mask that you use uh, a normal physical card so in that case what do you do is uh, you can go here and see the number of approved um, I mean eSIM enabled adult phones so I hope this has been insightful and I'm wishing you the very best in your campaigns and in case of anything reach out and uh, we'll be swift to help you thank you and goodbye for now